Consultative bodies of China and the European Union held a bilateral roundtable meeting in Brussels on Wednesday. They exchanged views on China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative and sought their common ground and best practices. The ongoing 14th EU-China Civil Society Roundtable meeting will discuss infrastructure and investment in the framework of China's Belt and Road Initiative and the newly established Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. The European Economic and Social Committee, or EESC, the EU's consultative body to the bloc's three institutions, namely the European Council, the European Commission, and the European Parliament, is joined by its Chinese counterpart, the China Economic and Social Council. The EESC said the closed-door meeting will also discuss innovation and economic development in rural areas. These two days, we've taken two subjects to discuss. The first is economic and infrastructural development. What China is doing, what Europe is doing to improve the infrastructure, to lay the basis for a sustainable economic growth uh, and greater welfare for our citizens. The second issue we're looking at is more to do with how we share the wealth we create, because it's to do with rural development and how we treat uh, the rural areas in terms of farming policy, rural development. George Stasis, president of EESC, said the development of cooperation between China and EU is very positive. This debate from this morning has visibly showed that China is a privileged partner for the European Union and inversely. So from guaranteed peace in the planet to contribute to so-called fair welfare repartition, it is necessary that two big powers cooperate and contribute in the best way in order to give better life to population living along this evoked road and to develop better standards of living. In this sense, it will establish a real progress, not for the countries along this road, but for the whole world. China and EU announced to cooperate on synergies between the Belt and Road Initiative and the European Investment Plan last year. Beijing and Brussels agreed to set up the EU-China Roundtable in 2007. This came after a decision taken by the 9th EU-China Summit attended by top leaders of both sides. The Roundtable meets twice a year to discuss topics relating to economic and social issues relevant to both parties.